as community outreach worker I work for the hospital and it's going out to community groups and it's building those relationships, listening to the voices and also advocating when I need to advocate with the hospital. Today's session was for the South Asian elderly women's group and a lot of these women are widows or they've been carers for their husbands who've been ill. Most of them have not worked. They've brought up their families, they've looked after their families and they come here once a week so that they can see other friends, especially now that they're not as mobile as they used to be so they're not able to get out. They all get together, they'll have a chat, they'll have a cup of tea as soon as they come in, catch up with each other, sometimes they'll do exercise, they'll have different speakers come in to speak to them and it's opening up to them a world that they've not seen before. <laughs> just me connecting people and that's a big part of my job is to connect the community with the services that are already in place. It's also for me it's changing their perception as well of what the hospital can do for them. It's really nice that if they have a question about the hospital I can help them, I can support them, I can explain things, I can signpost them. These women don't speak English they have a real barrier in calling the doctors and making themselves an appointment. They have to go through their children, they have to wait for their children to visit or their grandchildren or someone to visit. So it's really nice for them. And when I was here a few months ago, I asked them, I said to them, how would you like me to bring you information about the hospital? And they said, like this, come and see us, come and visit us, give us the um, leaflets. Um, read it out to us, explain it to us, but just come and see us. Whatever you want to tell us, come and see us. It's always a hug and there's always somebody who's happy to see you. It's just nice when you see women who have continued and carried on and not really talked about things because they're so busy being strong and so busy not wanting to create a fuss and have people worry about them. They feel like they're troubling the family, so they don't talk about what's happening in their lives. They don't talk about symptoms or things that they're worried about. And it's when you have groups like this that they come together and they talk about it. They talk about their falls and how much it hurt because they don't want to tell their children because they don't want to worry them, but they'll talk about it in the group and they'll talk about illnesses or different illnesses people have had and any questions they had and it's really good because a lot of times they have questions so when we took the breast cancer screening um, team out last time there was one lady she was talking about her daughter knows breast cancer and she was saying how quick it happened and how she couldn't understand always what was happening and she had some questions and she was able to ask them so it's even afterwards they're able to ask those questions and I think it's just so important that they have that opportunity